Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, um, I don't know how to begin this. Um, I This is just a very impromptu video, but I wanted to show you my current project. I had a little bit of time today because baby was napping, and I am so inspired by Sue's Fish's uh, videos like Scrap Therapy, which is kind of the same concept that I've been uh utilizing for the while it's um just kind of using up your stuff and um yeah just basically using up your stuff and I've just been watching her videos a lot lately and she just makes beautiful scrapbooking layouts and obviously I'm not going to be able to make anything as beautiful as hers because hers are just light and airy and just absolutely beautiful but I'm going to do my version of it um and I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, so it could be a pre-filmed video by the time this is going up. But I wanted to show you what I've been up to today for the past couple hours. Um, I took my old guest information binder that I kept in my guest room um, from when we lived in Washington, um, which I can link to down below if you guys are interested because I kind of did a flip through of what I included in here I believe and because I no longer live in a place that's cool enough for people to come visit um, I pretty much just took everything out I'm just gonna keep the guest binder in there like the label because it just reminds me of happy times and um, this is just a binder that I picked up for super cheap for, I don't know from the dollar section at Target years ago so it probably was like two or three dollars and I pretty much went through all my papers and stuck everything in here so this actually helped clear out what I pretty much had remaining in like paper stash just random vintage papers and whatnot this is pretty much it and what I love about Sue's Fish's um, videos is that she is all about using your stash and she mentioned in one of her videos that she really doesn't have a stash because she uses it all up every month and I really want to strive for that where I don't have so much stuff that it builds up I want to get to a point where I'm using what I have and like by the end of the month or so you know I can just kind of rebuy certain things anyway um, I went through my paper stash. This is the majority of it left. I pretty much don't have anything else. I have some of those like 12 by 12 papers that I recently purchased, um, which I will have a haul video for, um, for kind of the similar project that I'll be using to cut up and um, doing layouts and stuff. But um, this is it. This I pretty much took all my junky papers. It's pretty much like a ring bound version of a junk journal but um, I don't have to sew everything in which is something I find very tedious about junk journals so this actually was an, a better system for me so I might stick to a ring bound version of a junk journal if I ever do junk journals again and this is kind of I guess my current version of a junk journal uh, so yeah, I'm just going to flip through and show you just kind of what I put together, what I threw together for the past couple hours. I had these left over from the guest book, um, so I just used that as a guideline. And then I used my little one-hole punch, and then I kept all the little dots and just kind of made myself like a little sh shaker pocket, which was also inspired by Susie Fish's um, videos. So I had this paper left over from, I don't know, a year ago or so, scrapbook paper, cut that down. Some paper, like this is the envelope that you get for putting stamps in when you go to the post office. And this is from Serial Magazine, scrapbook paper, and a magazine cover, magazine, this is from my old interior design school days. Just like to stick that in there. Some leftover vellum, postcard, vintage paper. Just decided to stick that in in case I wanted a pocket. 
And I can rearrange this however I want. Some leftover handmade paper that I got from this paper source. Postcard and a folder. This is a journal card that I printed out from a free printable. Old scrapbook paper that I've had. Flow paper that I decided to keep. So there will be some flow papers in here that I've just... The remaining papers I decided to just stick in here and use. So more handmade paper from Paper Source. Old ledger paper, flow paper. This is flow paper. This was a poster. I just pretty much ripped it in half and then made it into some like decorative paper. Blank envelope. Some six by six uh, scrap of paper that I had left. I had a few of those lying around. Another free printable journal card, flow paper, more college drafting class um, practice. This was a vintage book page that I purchased for junk journaling, never used it, so I decided to cut it down and stick it in here. More 6x6 scrapbook paper. This is just packaging, inspired by Sue's Fishes videos. Magazine paper. I think this was from, uh, like, a Breathe magazine. Old ledger paper, old music paper. Leftover cardstock from when I printed out journal cards, so I just had a big portion of it left and stuck it in here. More stamp vellum envelope. This was from a museum brochure. And it's just like this beautiful printed vellum. Kept it for a while, stuck it in here. Um, this is from a paper pad that I recently purchased, like a small one. Vintage, like the science paper. Same vintage um, pad paper that I got from that uh, coffee themed one. The other half of that flow poster. Um, a couple of envelopes that I was holding on to, and I just stuck little bits of paper that I wanted to use in this binder. And then more like free printables and leftover paper bits that I wanted to use. So that is kind of it. I am so excited about this binder, mostly because sometimes this just gets filled up with writing. And because I'm using it for a lot of photos now that I have a baby... It bulks up very quickly and I can't do anything that's like majorly embellished which is not something that I used to like doing but I'm really inspired by Suze Fish's videos. I keep mentioning her. I'm going to link her channel below because I love her videos but a lot of her things um, include like embellishments and things like that and I still have some of those things that I want to utilize but I don't use it in my traveler's notebook because it bulks it up too quickly. Especially with now adding a lot of photos. Here, I'm going to give myself permission to use all those embellishments. Um, as an example, you know, like if I have like these little wood things left over, I could stick that in, let it really bulk up, and not really care. So this is going to be a little bit more of, you know, when I really want to just create and slap things down, not really think about it. That's going to go in here. This journal is going to be more for, you know, actual family photos and memories and things like that. But if I have like spare photos, which I do, I do have a few spare photos here and there. I can actually stick that in here and play around with layouts and such. So that's going to be my current project. And I wanted to show you this quick too, because since I was debating between using the Daiso journal the Daiso notebooks for journaling or going back to my traveler's notebook which I decided to stick to my traveler's notebook I decided to make this um just a big notebook that I'm going to stick magazine cutouts in um you know images that I, I really really like but I don't necessarily care about keeping later on so this could end up being something later on in years where I just discard because you know I just don't want it anymore. And that way, these images, which I like but don't necessarily love, don't take up space in my precious uh, 013 inserts. And I can 
save all that for, you know, actual photos and important things. This, I'm just giving myself permission to play again. Just magazine images, packaging, you know, things that I want to keep but not really keep, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, just things that I was holding on to, images that I'd collected that I really love, but, you know, I can just fill this up and not really care about it. So that are... That's another, like, side project, not really a journal, but, like, a image capturing notebook. So, I don't know. Just felt really inspired to use things up, and I'm so glad that this binder allowed me to just really use up most of my papers. I don't really have much left. I just have a few 12 by 12 sheets, and, you know, just a basic um, collection of like blank cardstock that I can print on and such, but aside from that, this is all of my used up papers. Yay! I'm so happy. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye!